Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play Factorio in the Narrows. We have automated rail production. Very exciting. Sticks are not being produced very quickly. Uh, they are being produced quickly. They just can't be unloaded quickly. Now we're good. All right, cool. Yeah, I still want, I want four stacks. All right, we don't need any more raw materials. We've got a lot of wood just sitting around. Got an extra shotgun, we'll add that in. Because I want a flamethrower now. Here, I have my shotgun. Give me a flamethrower. I want a flamethrower. We'll get a canister eventually. all that eventually too. Um, rocketry is necessary for a ro rocket launcher. I didn't realize that was in the base game. I, th I thought that was a Bob's Mods thing. That's exciting. Should we do some blue science? I don't think yet. Not yet. Wait for it. Oh, we could do flight. We could have robots. No. Resist. Resist the robots. That's the only reason to get that too is for robots. Oh, robots. Blood shooting speed. That's a good that's good research. We're gonna go branch out soon. That's good research. We need to find more oil. More oil. We must find more oil. Why is it not balancing? Oh it is, it's just very slow. Okay. That's fair. And then it only pulls from one side because of reasons. All right, so battery production is slow. Let's pick whatever batteries are here. Okay. How many do we get? 22 of them. It's not horrible. Let's talk engines. To make an engine. Steel, iron gear, and pipes. Well, that's not bad. What's the ratio? We need two pipes every 20 seconds. So we can make pipe local. We can just feed it right into the engine machine. Uh, we'll peel, peel gears because we can. Gears and steel will go into one thing. And then we'll make engines. And to make electric engines, we need engines, circuits, and lubricant. So we can just put lubricant into the network eventually. All right. Why engines? Trains. Honestly, I kind of feel this desire to make a slightly weird looking layout. Because we could put the electric engines here. We could do those kind of engines here. Oh, no, no, no. Right, because what's going to need to happen is... So we could do it if we extended it. So we're going to bring the iron in for the pipe. we we'll make the pipe right here. Let's put in directly to the non-electric engines. Oh yeah, we could do that. Never mind. All right, there's still no more room on the bus to add stuff, so after batteries... If we want to add plastic into the bus, we couldn't do it. Unless we went outside, which is possible, I suppose. Kind of defeats the whole purpose, though. Right now we have plastic for science, and that's all we're kind of focused on. We don't really need plastic for a lot of other stuff, just red, red circuits. Make pipe. Make engines. Make electric engines. Bring the lubricant in from outside or inside, rather. 
that'll be that. So that's that. Get your pipe. Doesn't need to be fast, though. Um, if we want the engines to come out to the side. The ones we need, anyway. Oh, that's the wrong spot, anyway. Look like that. So it looked like that. Um, this needs to be gears in steel. Coming through here. Weird, it looks like there were two of them on top of each other. And again, they don't have to be fast, because it takes forever for these to be made. 20 seconds is quite some time. Alright, so we go underground here. Oh, we're going to do this with batteries. everything we need other than power. Kind of want to make some power pulls next. Here we go. Engines are being made. Trains, here we come. There's going to be a lot left on the engine. Like, there's a lot left on the belt for the... the Assemblers, but I kind of feel that's okay. Oh, we're, we're turrets are engaged with the enemy. Good. I still know we're here. So that gets us batteries hooked up whenever we decide to hook the batteries back up, which will be ages because they're not even close to being backed up from science yet. Although science will start backing up soon, that is exciting. Well, it's shooting speed. I mean, we're not even doing blue science yet because we're we just want the blue to build up. It does allow for concrete. Concrete is fun. Yeah, I mean, we need more oil. We need to branch out. We have to build trains. That's what it boils down to. There they are. We don't even have to build a car yet. We need eight engines to build a car. That was one. There's two. Kind of want to double this up, don't you? At least we can get one every 10 seconds now, effectively. Up to four, look out, we're halfway to a car. And then we're gonna start talking trains. Oh yeah, 20 engines for trains, <laughs> Jesus. It'll be a long time. Uh, 
My normal uh, normal desire for a train is two cars. I should have split it here. Split it here and gone underground up. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Gears and, and steel are not going to be a problem if we use them quite handily. Oh, yeah. So that's a huge problem. I don't have advanced soil processing yet, so it's not like I can crack them anyway. But when I can, we'll be ready. It's continually running. I mean, it's not, it's not like there's a lot you could do. We're using the crude as it comes in. There's just not a lot of it. We're already down to 0. 0.6 seconds there and 0. 0.6 there. You know, we just need more crude oil. Time to start thinking about the train yard, I think. All right, we're going to make this as far over as we can because I've used an inside train. All right, that's as wide as it needs to be. Interesting. It's definitely how wide the track is. circle won't go that long. Something is strange here. I almost don't know if I want to build the circle. I mean, with the circle, trains can come come and go. They can turn all the way around. But if we do, we have to do double-headed trains. All right, but that's the goal, isn't it? They come down, they come zoom down, and they come in. And they'll come into a number of stations, come around, and go back out. So no, we don't want the circle. But if we do single-headed trains and a smart unload system, I think we'd be okay. I think. He says hesitantly. The thing is, we could do a double-sided. Once all this clears... Once all this clears, then we'll have room. We can go all the way up to here, because we're not going to go any farther than here. Let's find the southern terminus. That's the smart idea. So here's the southern point. Uh, attacks are coming more furious now. There you go. That's as far south as you can go. Oh. Well, we're at the point now where we really should be doing this. both sides. Did I not need to do that? Oh no, we did just turn off the entire northern part of the factory. Alright. It's good to know. cut this as close as we possibly can. I really need to look up this dude's name.
Uh, I really should have brought the oil up one higher, I think. I guess it all depends on where the, the blocks end up for the train, because the trains are every other. Yeah, I mean, no matter what I did, well, I could have put the pipe up through there, probably. Yep, I sure could have. Yeah, but then the then the, that this would have to run there, which means it couldn't run around the train. Although I could move it. Ah, uh, Lord. This so is what happens when you decide to change things. Do that now instead. Then this is gonna come around the tracks, so we've got plenty of it built up. This track can come through here. I think that's the level. point, like I said, where we really want to be using big electric poles anyway. For stuff like that. I mean, intermediary is one thing. Okay. That connects it in without having to use that one. Nice. Okay. Go underground. Then, we're going to go underground here. There you go. And our train can do what the train needs to do. Basically, maximizing our train potential. Remember, two to turn, the rest is food. Heard a little squee out of every Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan in the house. Alright, we will definitely use a counterclockwise or anti clock. No, I mean, sorry, we're going to use a clockwise system. So I can push this right up against the wall. And then the signals can be inside. That's our goal. Alright, so this is the return. This is what's going out. Just maximizing our space. There you go. One, two, and this is what comes back. It's going to come all along here, but... This is going to be the first one. There you go. That's the first bet. And what we're going to do is we'll just keep coming down and go zoop. Come another one, go zoop. And another one, go zoop. So the lowest we can go. Gonna come right off of this. So that's the lowest we can go south on this track. I mean, we can have one on the main rail coming back too, but that would be. Oh yeah, we could go in two directions. This could be quite an interesting little turn. Oh yeah, I see, I see the possibilities now. If you don't see them yet, you will next episode because we're gonna we're gonna lay out this whole train yard. This is gonna be fantastic. For now, though, we are out of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated. Everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.